Hey everybody, it's YGL Paladin back here with another video and today we're going to be looking at a brand new archetype that was just unveiled to us that will be coming in Phantom Rage and it is an archetype that is similarly, I have to say, part of the same lore actually as Dragma as they are in the art as well. I have not had a chance to read these cards. I did post them on my Instagram at YGL Paladin where you get the news a lot quicker but if you want to see a reaction or at least hear a reaction, well, this is uh, the channel for you guys. So I'm going to read these cards for the first time and I want to react to these because I'm hoping that these are some meta cards because I saw Dragmas in there and uh, I got to see what these things do. So these cards are called the Tri Brigade and they will be in the Phantom Rage and I, the translations are coming from YGO organization. So let's go ahead and read these cards. Somebody call Team Unicorn. Hmm. I wonder if that's for 5Ds. Okay, so we have the first card. We have a uh, Tri Brigade Naval. It is a level one win winged beast effect monster with zero attack points 2000 defense points you can only use the first and second effects of this card's name once per turn each first effect you can banish any number of beasts beast warrior and or winged beast monsters from your graveyard you cannot use monsters as link materials for the rest of the turn except beast beast warrior and winged beast monsters also special summon one beast beast warrior or winged beast link monster from your extra deck with a link rating equal to the number of cards banished interesting second effect if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one Tri Brigade monster from your deck to your hand, except itself. So this is actually really interesting. Uh, so I guess we're kind of getting a little bit quicker into summoning Link monsters somehow by banishing uh, anything that's beast related to special summon a Link monster from the extra deck with a Link rating that's equal to the number of cards that you banished. Which is, uh, I, this, is like, this is a first, right? I believe this is a first for them trying to fast summon Link monsters, so... Okay, this is interesting, and I do like the search effect. If this card is sent to the graveyard, uh, you get to add any Tri Brigade monster to your hand. So that's actually really cool. Very interesting card, and a really nice start to the Tri Brigade. So let's go on to the second card. We have Tri Brigade uh, Cirrus. Uh, apologies for the mispronunciations of these names. Uh, it is a level 2 Earth Beast effect monster with 1,200 attack points, 1,500 defense points, and the effect reads you can only use the first and second effects of this card's names once per turn each. First effect, you can discard one other beast, beast warrior, or winged beast monster. Special summon this card from your hand. Oh, very nice. I like that. Second effect, you can banish any number of beasts, beast warrior, and or winged beast monsters from your graveyard. You cannot use monsters as leak materials for the rest of this turn except beast, beast warrior, winged beast monsters. Also special summon one beast, beast warrior, or winged beast link monster from your extra deck with a link rating equal to the number of cards banished. So, very similar to the first one, but this also lets you special summon from your hand I like this and the more I'm thinking about this uh, these are beast monsters beast uh, so far as winged beast and beast for the other one and I remember in the tournament pack that was coming out in the OCG they had a uh, what was this Chuck a nine in there so we name we may not be getting any zodiac cards and this might be why that cards getting printed in there because I thought we were getting zodiac cards but this may be the reason why Chuck a nine is getting reprinted in a tournament pack in the OCG so I do like this. I do like that you can special summon itself, so that's really cool. Um, yeah, it has a, it shares the same second effect of the fast summoning uh, link monster. So let's continue on with the uh, rest of the support. We have Tri Brigade uh, Fractar. Fractar. Oh, because it's a centaur. It is a level four fire beast warrior effect monster, so it is tanky uh, searchable. It has 1900 attack points, 1600 defense points. Its effects you can only use the first second effect of this card's name once per turn each. First effect, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Send one level 3 or lower beast, beast warrior, or winged beast monster from your deck to the graveyard. Interesting. So, uh, what was the other one? Oh, yeah. So, you could send this to the graveyard just to get a search. I, yeah. I mean, I like that. Uh, second effect, I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. You can banish any number of beast, beast, winged beast, yeah, monster from your graveyard. You cannot use any like, materials for the rest of the turn except for beast, beast warriors, and winged beast. Also, special summon one beast, beast warrior, or winged beast. Link monster from your extra deck with a link rating equal to the number of cards banished. Yeah, so it shares the same effect. All these main deck monsters share the effect of fast summoning link monsters by banishing any beast related cards and summoning a link monster of the same rating. So interesting. I do like this one. You can send it from your hand to the graveyard. So you could send that to get this to the graveyard, get a search, which could be this. So you're going to have to definitely use more beast monsters because so far this seems to be it for the main deck. Unless we get some more cards down the line but we have 10 cards right here so we'll have to wait and see what happens so enough of that let's get to the link monsters we have tri brigade uh fella fella did i don't know the village of the fruitless flower let's just call it that it is a 
Link to Earth Beast Link Effect Monster with 1600 pack points and it points to the left and bottom left. It requires two beast, beast warrior and, and or winged beast monsters. You could only use the first and second effect of this card saints once per turn. Uh, oh, okay, second. I don't know why I read that completely wrong right there. Okay, so first effect. During your main phase, you can special summon one level four or lower beast, beast warrior, or winged beast monster from your hand, but you cannot use monsters as leak materials for the rest of this turn except beast, beast warriors, and or winged beast monsters. So it turbos out so many monsters from the hand. Unfortunately, it's not from the deck. So this seems okay. Uh, second effect, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can draw one card, then place one card from your hand to the bottom of the deck. Mm. It, it seems okay. Uh, I'm going to read through the rest of these, and I'm going to try to speed it up a little bit so we can get to all these cards, and this video won't be so long. Um, we have Tri Brigade Luga. Luga the Silver Bullet. Let's just, let's just go with what I'm calling him. Uh, it is a Link 3 Earth Beast Warrior Link Effect Monster with 2300 attack points, and it appoints... Right, bottom right, and the bottom. It requires two or more beasts, beast warrior, and or wing beast monsters. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's names once per turn each. First effect, during your opponent's main phase quick effect, you can special summon one level four or lower beast, beast warrior, and or wing beast monster from your hand or graveyard, but it gave its effects, also return it to the hand during the end phase. Did the other one special summon from the graveyard? No, it's just from the hand, right? Okay, so I do like this one a little bit better. We can special summon from the graveyard, and it returns to your hand during the end phase, so that's actually okay i guess but um uh, did the other one pop uh no you just can't use it as like material okay uh second effect if this card is sent to the graveyard you can make all face up monsters your opponent currently controls lose 300 attack points for each different type of monster you currently control until the end of this turn so you do power down your opponent's monsters and it is a 2300 beater so uh overall i do like this i do like this a little bit more than the other one because you can summon from the hand or graveyard so i do enjoy that a lot more uh, but maybe I'm just doing like again. I'm just reading these cards for the first time, so I'm trying to process all this information. And let's continue. We have Tri Brigade Shrike the Wicked Wings. It is a Link for Dark Wing Beast, a Link effect monster. Attack 3000. Its Link arrows are left, bottom left, bottom right, and right. So I forgot whose arrows were those in the actual game. Was it uh, I think it was that Mech Knight monster. It requires two or more beast, beast warrior, and or wing beast monsters. You can only use the first and second effects of this card's names once per turn each. First effect, if this card is special summoned or if another beast, beast warrior, and or wing beast monsters is special summoned to your field, you can banish one card on the field. I like that. It does not target and it's easily spot removal. I like this. And it's like any if another beast related monster is special summoned to your field. Okay, that's a good that's a good card. That's a good effect so far. Second effect, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one beast, beast warrior, and or wing beast. I'm sorry, or wing beast monster from your deck to the grave. Ah, let me reread that. I am so sorry. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one beast, beast warrior, or wing beast monster from your deck to your hand whose level is equal to or less than the number of your banished beast, beast warrior, or wing beast monster. So depending on what you've been banishing for your main deck depends on what you can add to your hand so that seems okay but i do like the first effect a lot more and yeah i, I enjoy that so let's get on to the spell cards we have tri brigade line it is a continuous spell card you can only use the second effect of this card's things once per turn you cannot special summon monsters from your extra deck except beast beast warrior and winged beast monsters man i've been saying that a lot Second effect, you can send one monster from your hand or field to the graveyard. Add one tri brigade monster from your deck to your hand with a different original type than the sent monster. Okay, so we do have a searcher, so I do like this. This is decent. Third effect, if this card is in your spell and trap zone, if this card in your spell and trap zone is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can activate this effect. Your opponent cannot declare an attack for the rest of this turn. Okay, um, I do like it. I like that you can send a monster from your hand or field to the graveyard to add any tri brigade monster. So if you have anything other than, let me see, to your hand with a different original type than the sent monster. So you don't even have to have a beast, beast warrior, or wing beast. You can just send like a warrior and you can add any of those three categories to your hand. So I like that. That's actually really cool. And uh, yeah, it's a continuous spell card. So you could do that once per turn as well. I like this. So let's go on to the next card. We have Tri Brigade Airborne. It is a quick play spell card. You can only activate one card with this card's name once per turn. Uh, target one beast, beast warrior, or wing beast monster you control. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except linked monsters. 
Also special summon one beast, beast warrior, or wing beast monster from your deck whose attack is equal to or less than the targeted monster and is a different type and negate its effects until the end of this turn. I like this. Uh, so I like this card actually. This is actually really good. So you have to target a beast, beast warrior, or wing beast monster you control, and it has to be uh, it has to be equal or less than attack, and you special summon from the deck. Okay. I'm fine with this. This is good. I'm trying to figure out what could, uh, what archetypes can interact with this. I'm thinking like Zodiac is like the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, Wing Beast, uh, I don't know, Black Wings, maybe. Uh, I'm just thinking, quickly thinking about stuff to go with this archetype. But let's go along. We have uh, two more cards to go through. So we have the, these are the trap cards. We have Tri Brigade Revolt. It is a normal trap card. You can only activate one card with this, with this card's name per turn. Special summon any number of your beasts, wing beasts, beast warriors, monsters that are banished and or in your graveyard, but negate their effects, if any, and if you do, immediately after this card resolves, link summon one tri brigade link monster using only those monsters. So it is a kind of soul charge. It is a soul charge for the deck, while also a, a uh, kind of quick play link summoning, depending on what you do. So you do have your links two, three, and four. So if you special summon four of them, you can instantly go for the big level four monster, a uh, link four monster. I like this. It's a trap card though, so I'm a little. I don't think it's gonna be all that great. So I don't see this being. You know, it's not. It's not actually soul charge. Where soul charge was an actual spell card, you could activate it right away. Uh, so you will have to wait a turn, and if this card survives, you can activate it during the next turn. So, uh, this card's cute, but I don't know if it's gonna be all that great. Uh, if you run Trap Trick, I guess this could be okay, but uh, yeah, still Trap Card. So going on to the final card, we have Tri Brigade Oath. It is a normal Trap Card. You can only use one of the first and second effect of this card's names per turn, only once once that turn. So it is a one effect or the other. It's one or the other. First effect, target one Link Monster you control. Special summon one Beast, Beast Warrior, or Wing Beast Monster from your hand or graveyard with a different type. Okay, okay, I was a little confused right there. It's like, wait, what does that, what does the targeting have to do? Okay, so I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm fine there. Uh, second fact, if you control at least one each of Beast, Beast Warrior, and Wing Beast Monsters, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one face up spell and trap your opponent controls and negate its effects until the end of this turn. So it's kind of like a Magician's Navigation, but you have to control at least one each of the three Beast categories. So not as good as a Magician's Navigation where you only had to have control one Dark Magician. So... My overall review of these cards, I like them. They definitely do have potential, and I know I'm missing something here. I know this there's something to this archetype that can make it competitive. I know it's something there. So let me know in the comment section down below what I'm missing about this archetype. Don't get me wrong. I love this archetype. I actually like how these cards shape together, but I feel like if we get some more support, maybe some more main deck monsters, it could be very competitive because it looks like we're missing a level three. Let me see. This one is number seven. And, oh, okay, this one's number eight. Yeah, so no, this this is it for the main deck, I'm assuming. So, I guess we'll just have to wait because it does say send one level three or lower, but it doesn't say Tri Brigade. It's just, it's, it's just in general for beast monsters. Uh, but overall, I like this archetype. I do like how we do have a continuous spell card that can continue to search. I'm just thinking of what other archetypes can mix with this deck because more than likely, I'm going to try out with Zodiacs. Zodiacs is the first thing that comes to mind because you got the tank keys, you got the Beast Warriors. But uh, what is it called? Barrage is at one, so it's not as good. And it does make sense as to why Chaka 9 was reprinted in the OTS. I'm sorry, into the tournament packs that are happening in the OCG. This is probably the main reason why I am guarantee this is the reason why I don't think we're getting a Zodiac Link monster like a lot of people are assuming. But if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And uh, I, I would just like to say that this is probably the reason why. I can probably see Chuck and I being used now to reborn a Beast Warrior, right? I think I could do that. Uh, if I'm wrong, my bad. But uh, other than that, I, yeah, I like this archetype. I cannot wait to see what people come up with this. And uh, let me know what you guys think about this archetype. And will you guys be playing it when it becomes available online? So probably more than likely tomorrow. And I gotta, I gotta try it out. I definitely have to try this out with Zodiac or uh, I don't know about Black Wings, but <laughs> I have to try it out with something. So with that, guys, that was my reaction so far. Uh, these art types in Phantom Rage have been doing very well. There was a, there was a art type reveal that happened a couple days ago. I was gonna do a uh, reaction video to it, 
but uh, my internet wasn't really working all that well, so I couldn't get it on my uh, computer, so I do apologize for that. But I hope this video makes up for the little absence I have not been on my channel as much. So uh, I definitely will be trying to do some more dual videos. I know I said I've, I've been trying to do that. It's just uh, the editing has just been hell to go through. So I'm definitely going to try it for this archetype, and I will definitely try to have a video for you guys. I don't want to know. I don't want to say when in case I disappoint you guys. So uh, other than that, guys, uh, thank you for watching. hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button if you did, and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more uh, reaction videos like this because I feel like we're going to keep getting more cards revealed to us. And so far, so good on the reveals. I actually have been liking a lot of these cards. So I definitely will be doing some more reactions if you guys enjoy these. So with that, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.